I'm Maggie Woodley from Red Ted Art and today I would like to review this lovely crafty book called Crafty Creatures. I haven't really looked at it properly yet, I wanted you to see my reaction as we go through the book because I think that's always a lovely way to see what a book is like and I love books like this because hopefully this will all be about making cute things but in a way that kids can have a go as well. So let's have a quick look inside. Oh I like the pretty paper, that's lovely, always a good start. Let's have a look. Oh, I'm getting all excited. Okay, these sections sound interesting. Woolly animals, felt, uh, sewing, and stitches. Let's see what these all are about. Woolly animals. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? So you get your little octopus with some plaiting. Really good. Plaiting is a great activity for young children. Um, you know, you're starting to learn process and order and, you know, following a sort of a very simple pattern like this. Oh, I love that. Now, knitting is something that I'm about to embark on with my kids. And I was already worrying about um, lots of scarves or lots of patchwork and, you know, them getting a little bit bored. So I love that this apparently little cute little cat is made out of some very simple shapes. You know, you've got a, a square and two little rectangles. And I think any child learning how to knit should be able to manage this, very sweet. And I have to say, I do like the photographs, because look, look at this, it's not perfect, you know? And that's good, because you're helping little ch younger children that to say that, you know, you don't have to have something that looks perfect in order to make something really, really, really cute. Love it, so sweet, very, very sweet. And look, you get all these other variations. Little koala bear, very sweet, we love. <gasps> And a teddy. Anyway, I'm not going to go through the whole book. I just want to sort of pick out some bits and pieces as we go through. And you can see my reaction. So obviously love owls. Very sweet. I always like looking at the finished project and then also at the basics. So look at that. Really basic shapes with very, very basic sewing. That's a running stitch going all around. Love. I, I, you know, I've started sewing with my kids and we do do running stitches with my help, of course, but this is something we could do together and I think they'd be so excited. My kids are three and five, by the way. Uh, my three-year-old clearly needs a bit more help. Oh, aren't these cute? These would make nice gifts, wouldn't they? They would make nice decorations. I know that, I know it says spring, but I actually quite like the idea of doing these in Christmas colors. And again, anything with a running stitch is something that a child can really manage. Um, so I think if you have older kids, say eight years, ten years plus, they can probably do this all on their own. Oh, aren't these sweet? And the younger kids, like mine, who are, you know, like I said, three and five, this is about doing projects together and introducing them to sewing, introducing them to knitting, um, and giving them projects that, you know, they can actually manage. These are cute dog stops, not door stops. Very sweet. Oh, I remember making something like this as a child. Same sort of shape. Very sweet. Now, that's an interesting page. So we've got the bunny. Let's have a look at the page before with its pattern. Here are the final bunnies. Now, I've made rag dolls for the kids before. And um, you know, obviously, we've really enjoyed the process. But I've always found the sewing it all up very tricky because I try to be clever and have all the things going in. But you know what? Look at this. You don't have to be clever and fiddle with it inside a sewing machine. You can just attach it to the side and it still looks nice. So again, this is a way of making sewing really accessible and making a really cute project with your kids. You know, I love the detail so that it shows you, look, it's tricky to turn it inside out, but here's a little trick, stuff it with a pen. So, you know, some really sweet projects with some great tips to make it easier for children. Let's see what else we have. I'm just skipping, I'm just finding some pages, but I have to say, looking at this, just skimming through it, oh, look at that pony, very cute. There's lots of things that I know my kids will love making. Um, oh, and look at this giraffe. You see, again, rather than fiddle with trying to get a clever pattern of, um, you know, a 3D pattern, this is such a sweet idea of just getting your, you know, your basic giraffe shape there, and your four legs, and then you attach it, sew it on with a button. Oh, aren't they sweet? I'm so gonna make this. The kids will love it, love it, love it. They'll make lovely presents as well. Maybe not new baby presents, because you have to be careful with the buttons, but, um, you know, a slightly older child present would be lovely. Okay, I'm gonna bore you in a minute, so I'll just skip through very quickly, see what other sort of projects we've got. Oh, I see, the animal and stitches is some paper, um, Cross stitch, nice. 
Very nice, very sweet. So you've got here sort of the basic skills, you know, you've got your your sewing, your knitting, your your felt and your, your stitching. And then here is what you need in your basic sewing kit. So you could make a lovely little Christmas presents. You know, have the book and a little sewing kit to go with it. Oh, it's really nice. Here's talking about embroidery thread, talking about felt, fillings, and very important, your basic stitches. So, you know, really good book. This actually, if I'd been, um, if I'd been given this as an eight year old, I would have adored it, really adored it. And uh, now I'm 37, nearly 38. I still think it's a really lovely book. Anyway, so that's my oh, look at the very end, the last page. So I have to say, looking at it, not having seen it before this video properly, I think this is a very sweet book with lots of really doable projects for children. And, um, you know, I look forward to having a go at this with my kids. Lovely. Big thumbs up. Yay. Oh, got some paint on my thumb, but still big thumbs up. Yay.